WordPress dashboard. Hello and welcome back again. So once we install our WordPress site, everything is live and ready to go. So now we can start publishing our content for our website. But as soon as you log in, what you should be doing is going to settings and go to reading menu option and make sure you have this checked this basically says to major search engines like Google okay Google, you know what if you end up seeing my website on internet it's not ready to go and index it and so on because at this stage this website isn't ready now it may be the case that Google does index this website if that's the case don't worry because when you finalize your website and are happy then you can simply uncheck and then save it then submit it in Google Webmaster Tools then Google will be aware of your new website so WordPress dashboard is very user-friendly considering all the other content management systems that are used throughout the years. Unknown to many people, you actually have these screen options here. You can simply check or uncheck different things as you browse through different menu options, as you can see. So that flexibility is there for you to arrange your WordPress dashboard according to your preferences. Now, what is also very important is, as you can see, the author here is admin here. It's a named admin. Now, I encourage you to, first of all, go to edit my profile. You can find that through the right-hand side menu options. Or you can go to left-hand side users menu option and select your profile. Either one will take you to the same place. And here you can start inserting your details. Particularly, I encourage you to, first of all, change. The, the, you know, for this tutorial, I'm just using some random um, name for the username, right? But you want to be able to um, change the admin so anytime you manage WordPress, whether it's a nickname that's required, whether it's display name publicly as is required, you just don't want to have the uh, name admin. Right? So you can give your name to be displayed publicly, keeping in mind that anytime you modify your profile, that information will be made available publicly. You can surely play around with the color themes of the admin user interface, as in dashboard user interface, give your name and surname and so on. You can choose a completely different nickname if you so please. Now you can give your website address and fill out all the details according to uh, what you want displayed publicly, knowing that this information will be displayed publicly. So the menu option, as you can see, gives you quick and easy access to all the options available through the dashboard. Once again, what is very important is the, the help section for WordPress. Because this is a content management system whereby you can basically do almost anything that a website can do, um, clearly suggests that in the future you may require additional help. And that's why you choose WordPress, because of its documentation and support forums. WordPress content management system is... <laughs> well documented. In fact, I actually haven't come across a content management system as documented 
as WordPress on internet. You can also participate in sport forums and ask questions regarding your WordPress because we know what the difference is between WordPress.org and also WordPress.com. Now we have chosen to install WordPress using self-hosting and thus our dashboard menu options will have different um, features for us whereby you can see that on wordpress.com the menu option although very identical it will have different options for you as in you can go to the store and start upgrading and changing things accordingly the settings here as you can see will have different options for you as well but the reason we have chosen to self install is because right now we basically have full control over our domain and we can basically log into our hosting account and change or troubleshoot anything that we want on our website whereas if we if we have selected wordpress.com cloud servers to host our website then we can not log in to access the core files because that's managed by the cloud servers of wordpress.com so i just wanted to um, give you that additional insight to understand the difference between self-hosted dashboard and dashboard available to you through uh, wordpress.com hosted website because just let me show you this particular feature as you can see appearance panel as in the menu option does not have an editor for us that means in our self-hosted WordPress site we have menu link for the editor whereby all these files that is firing our theme can be modified through the dashboard also the same files that I've just shown you are all in the themes folder because with the editor we can modify let me go and quickly edit this and you will see exactly what I mean Let me hit save. Let me go and ref um, see this. And voila, we have total control over everything that we want to do, whether through dashboard or WordPress or whether through our C panel. I thank you for learning with me, and I will talk to you in the next video session.